Welcome to the uh, Aquaman ALK monitor demo. This is a do-it-yourself project. Took me about six minutes to do. And this is the hardware. As you notice, or you don't notice, it's actually made from a HP DeskJet, forget which model, on one fax printer. That's the foundation there. And uh, you'll see how it works. I've actually reused the mechanisms of the printer to move back and forth. And then added some stuff to basically get the water, do the calibration, sampling, region, mixing, all that kind of stuff that you're going to see. Before we get to the actual demo, I'll spin around here. Actually, I'll put up that screen in there because the tank is kind of too bright. <clears throat> At the back are four Kamoa dosing heads. One for each tank that it pulls the sample from and one for the bottle of fresh water rinse. So, let's get things set up here. Uh, the tripod. I wish I had a glass of water, actually. So, I'm going to reboot it. So, that's the back screen. That's the Arduino, which is actually controlling that a motorized mechanism. And here you have an LCD display, OLED uh, green, that kind of shows certain statuses and up on the top right is the Raspberry Pi touchscreen which is going to come up after the boot sequence is complete all the diagnostics are done and the controller resets itself so that's the home screen it's actually a web-based controller everything you can do can be done through a web uh, and that's what you actually see here on this laptop where I can have a better display, which I'll show some more stuff. So, let's get the demo started. If I just back up just a bit, I'm going to initiate the demo sequence <coughs> by going into the main menu. And in here you have a few uh, options, which I'll get into later. There's a data section, some graphs, config like scheduling, how often to run the tests, administrative section for maintenance, calibration, all that kind of stuff, and eventually I'll have a little web section for my favorite home pages because it is actually, uh, this is the screen you're actually seeing is the Raspberry Pi. The exact same thing that I'm doing on this screen is happening on that screen. So when I click on tests on my laptop, the screen changes both on the Raspberry Pi and my laptop. So we're actually going to run tank one run test. Just a little bit further back. So that's a little message that we got going here to say keep your hands away because things are going to move and it is a sense of delicate instrument. Now, the OLED the screen that you can't really see here is actually saying we're going into stage one of the testing, and that is to get to prime the sample lines. Basically what's happening right now, if I turn on this light, you can actually see in the vial or the jar bubbles. And you see bubbles coming up the sample line number one. What it's doing is it's purging the line, the sample line, from any air, any old water that may have been left in there. And this actually takes the most amount of time because that variation on how long the lines is depends how long it takes to purge the line. The actual controller doesn't have any distance limit. Well, I mean, you don't want to go 20 feet, but you can certainly go a few feet and you could actually um, calibrate the dosing and the sampling for any length. Now, this takes a while, so while we wait for that, I'll explain a couple more things. Um, right here, is, that's the camera scanner. That's the Raspberry Pi camera. It actually scans the result. The various sampling lines are for the three tanks, the region, and the freshwater line for rinsing. Um, the most fun part is coming up later, which is the mixing stage. But at this point, if I don't keep hitting my camera, um, it's almost complete getting the sample. 
ready. Not the actual sample because the sample is actually going to be dosed into the vial. So as that completes, actually you see down here there's a status is telling you what's the controller, the ras not the Raspberry Pi, the Arduino is doing, which is stop and it's actually finished. So now you're actually going to see a sample here. If I get that focus nicely. There. 10 mils of water into the vial. The status there on the left is showing the 10 mils. And now we back up. Next to stage two, you can actually see there on this display, it's doing a reference check on the clear water sample without region. It uh, has to turn the um, test device sideways to get that cap on and also it may not be a good idea if I have too much lighting on here. So I'll let it take a reference test without lights. And I'll sort of bring things down so we can see what's happening here. So it just got its reference test. And after the reference test, it adds the region. Quick one mil. This is where we mix the region with the water in the vial. A little bit of swirling back and forth. and complete. Next is now we've got the region mixed in and stirred up we're going to do the second reference test. Bring the camera around just around this way. Cap goes on, presses the button, and we get a second reading. Now, now that we've got the result on the actual uh, tester, we have to get the data into the controller, which is basically to scan the result with the camera. I'm going to turn the lights down a bit. Uh, too much of a reflection here. Can't really get that screen. It's pretty tough to film with all this different kind of contrast lighting. But you'll actually notice there's a light going on. There's an LED in there. It's shining a proper light on the actual display to scan the results. So now you're actually going to see the results show up right here. If I can go into manual focus might be a better idea. Let me get that tuned up. There we go. There comes the result. Now, once the result comes back, there's the ability to calibrate the tester's result to a proper result. What you can see here is it's actually getting the raw value. And if I wanted to, which I don't in this case, I could recalibrate the result into what is more of an accurate L value. So that's the calibrated value, which is basically at this time, at this point, one to one, and they both match. Next result shows up here, which uh, 
gives me a lot of color view with the ability to do thresholds and any sort of conditions I may want to add in the future to do things like give me alarms if it's an offset or if things are too high or too low anything I want so the last stage is to put that data into the actual Arduino not the Arduino, the Raspberry Pi uh, update the tables uh, make a couple graphs there's actually one graph per tank oh actually right now it's doing the uh, emptying of the region and water it's basically a waste dump and uh, as you notice most printers have a paper tray so what's happening is the storage for the wastewater is a tray inside of the paper tray right there is where uh, the wastewater goes there's a little channel in the side in the underneath the tester where the water goes so now that it's done that the last stage is to clean itself up we basically want the wastewater not to be contaminating the vial so it's adding some fresh water to rinse it's going to um, also want to rinse the stir robot make sure that tip is clean so it's going to dip into the fresh water rinse I may do two rinses as I figure that it's not enough to have one rinse but at this point I'm doing one rinse to keep this demo short so the rinse is going to complete here and it will again dump the rinse water into the, the tray or the disposal tray and then that should complete the test and you get to see the result Let's get a better shot of the actual... Actually, this is the hardest part of the design. How to get that water out of the vial. It took me a lot of times to figure out the speed. I could see the water coming out there. If you tip the vial perfectly sideways, when it's almost full with a narrow neck, it doesn't drain. Air gets caught and everything like that. So it took me a lot of programming and fooling around to get that vial to actually empty 100% and not have a drop left over. I have a sequence where I could actually keep turn the whole thing upside down and let it the uh, the vial air dry. Don't want to keep this demo going forever, so uh, that's not shown here. But you'll see that in all the admin functions where I can do a lot of kind of stuff. So uh, clean stage, you'll notice it's actually going to purge the lines. That there's bubbling going on. The lot the, the uh, sample water that goes through the lines is actually returned back to the tank. It came from the tank, no, no contamination, there was no region in there, it's just a sample line to the tip of the syringe tip there. And that gets returned, so the next time we pull a sample, it's clean water, new water, coming from the tank. And now comes the graph. So I'm going to switch over, you're actually going to see that showing up over there. But over here, if I turn off this light, we actually will get a graph. I'm actually going to turn this down and I'm going to go back actually it's asking me to press B so I'm going to press B and that should clear the result yep okay so where's the graph let's uh, go back to the main menu and get a zoom up uh, a little bit sharper there so this is the venueing system. So that was where we were. We did a test on tank one, two, or three. We could run a test. Then we have the data section, which is a table format. I click on it. I can see the data on any tank. For example, tank two. Um, let me just go a little closer, a little sharper. I've got some rough. Uh, threshold set here where I can say low or high based on my targets. Uh, it gives me a historical view of all the data that I want on every single tank. I could also go into a graph view 
where you know, I do the same thing. I get to see all three of my tanks, how they're, the elk is. Then I get to see graphs. Um, I got the same kind of thresholds here. I just ran some uh, sample data into there, not actual test, but to show too low, getting close to too high, target is 0, 7.5, a little bit higher, way over, and the white is the last test done on the actual. So that's that. <clears throat> Um, the config section is basically where you schedule stuff, uh, and there's obviously an administrative section. In the admin section, I've got all, all kinds of stuff to calibrate the pumps. I can do the region fill up. Um, I can do uh, drops. In the manual move section, uh, I can do all kinds of things here. I can do testing of my uh, lines to see if the samples are right, if my one mill is right. I could uh, do uh, actual different moves. So here, in the sense of here, I've got the three different, uh, five different uh, positions. So if I click on position one, or two, or three, and we look at this, back up, right there. So if I click on position one, I could actually move to position one. If I, you know, that's basically more for administrative and for my programming needs, and. Um, Really, that's it. And uh, now I get to install my tank and uh, all three tanks. It'll give me a chance to do other things. Hope you enjoy the demo. That's it. Have a great day.